Hello everyone, and welcome here at Car Connection in Little Ferry, New Jersey, and today we're featuring this very nice 2002 Cadillac Escalade. Okay, this is the short base model, okay? So it's got the third row seating, but it's not the ESV. Um, this thing has the 6.0 liter, 345 horsepower, uh, four-speed automatic transmission, all-wheel drive, which pretty much came standard with these vehicles. Uh, this one here, I think it's about 14 miles per gallon city and around upper teens on the highway. So you're not buying this for fuel economy. You're buying it for the bells and whistles that it has and the power if you did want to pull something. So that's what you're doing. That's why you're buying this, obviously, if you like the truck itself. But it's a beautiful truck. Let's go through it. Here's your front tire and rim passenger side. General grabbers matching all around. Tread is great. Little oxidation on the wheels. If I pull back to the, look at the side view front passenger, the side view of the vehicle, you see it's straight, no dings, no dents, uh, very good paint. This is a two owner, no accidents reported. Here's your passenger side headlight, bumper, corner bumper, going all the way across. You're not gonna see damage on this car. Driver side, headlight, the side of the bump, bumper, corner. Let's pull back, take a side view of the driver's side front. Look how nice that paint is. Not wavy, very good condition. It's going back to the hood. No rock chips on this hood. Let's pull up. No damage on the hood. Windshield, no chips, no cracks. Guys, this is a 2002. You're gonna get some imperfections, some touch-up spots, maybe a nick here and there. But the vehicle has a current New Jersey inspection, August of 24. So the vehicle is in great running condition. Here's your driver's side front tire and rim. Little oxidation on the rim, tire is in excellent condition. Let's pull back, take a better look. Here's your mirror, mirror's in good shape. A little bit of something going on right here, but the mirror is not all banged up. You got a little scratch there. I've seen these mirrors cracked and banged up so bad. This is a 2002. Let's pull back again. Look how nice this vehicle is. Running boards in great shape all the way across. It's not warped, it's not hanging. Let's take a better view of the side, rear view, pet driver's side. Look how nice that paint is, okay? Let's go bumper all the way across, driver's side tail light. Bumper going across to the passenger side tail light. Perfect condition. Let's get a side view, passenger side rear. Look how nice that paint is, very nice. Now let's open up the hatch tailgate let's go to your little trunk storage here now i'm going to demonstrate here's your third row all right right here the seat goes forward i lift this up the seat goes up that's the way it's supposed to be again seat forward i lift this up now you got a lot of storage if the seat middle seat is is down i believe these flip even more so you get more storage and a little bit of a flatter flatter space let's put them back down here, two hands. Need two hands to do that one. Let's do this one now. Okay, this is locked in. Let's put it down. So I grab this and this at the same time. Obviously, I need two hands. And now we're back to original position. Okay, let's go to your last tire and rim, which is the passenger side rear. Again, look at the tread, matching uh, general grabber. A little bit of oxidation again. Let's pull back a little bit. Take a look at this car. Very minimal scratch here and a little bit right there. Um, overall, very, very nice condition. Here's your running board, passenger side, all the way to the passenger mirror. Let's lock the doors at this time. So the doors are unlocked, gonna lock them. For the sound the alarm, everything is locked. I'm gonna unlock. So now we know that this keyless fob, keyless remote works. Um, let's go to the passenger side rear door panel. Uh, definitely something missing here, but the door panel itself is in really, really, really good shape. Here's your middle row. Leather's in good condition. Back of the driver's side seat. Back of the passenger side seat, carpets are very clean. Let's look at the headliner, is in very clean, good condition. And here's your middle row, 
right there. Look how nice that leather is. We're going to do this on the other side as well. Okay, here's your here's your passenger side door panel in very good condition. Buttons are in great shape. They're not worn out. Everything here, all the controls. Here's a uh, passenger side view of the front seats. Look how nice that passenger side seat is. Very, very clean. Dash is in great shape all the way across. I'll do the other side when I get there. Glove box, manuals right here. Okay, so we do have the manual. Okay, now if you look here, here's your middle console. This is not staying down because I believe something is missing here. So this is supposed to clip in, so maybe either it fell in somewhere or it broke. So it, everything functions, but this doesn't want to stay down. So again, we this comes down. That comes down, it comes up, it comes down. All right, let's go to the driver's side. I'm gonna lock the doors. So doors are locked. Lock, lock, I'm gonna unlock. Okay, here's your uh, driver's side rear door panel. The whole, pan the whole light cover is missing here. Look at the interior, rear view, uh, driver's side, passenger, middle seat. Look how nice the leather is, okay? Back of the seat, back of the seat here. Headliner is in great shape. Let's go to the driver's side, front door. Here is your driver's side front door panel. If you can see here, the switches are in great shape. Um, so all the panels here, they're in really good shape. Steering wheel definitely has a little bit of stuff going on, but the wood grain on the steering wheel is in perfect condition. Carpet's clean. Let's pull back, take a good look at the driver's side seat from the driver's side view. Um, there is a little shadow here, but let's go in deeper and take a look at how these seats, the condition of these seats. If you notice, look at the condition of the seat. It's in perfect condition. Look, here's your power. Power seat works. Very nice. Here again is your uh, middle console and this top piece. So... At this time, I'm going to get in, I'm going to start it up, confirm the mileage, which I believe is about one, I think it's got 150 something, but let's confirm that. It's got 155, okay, there are no check engine lights, no warning lights, let's check the radio, okay, radio works, this all here is working the way it should, I know the AC works, but I'm going to, uh, just confirm that because I oh it's already coming out very cold. Um, yeah, I had this on yesterday, so I know it works. Uh, everything here is working. Uh, all these uh, buttons here. Let's check out the windows. Here's your driver's side front, driver's side rear, passenger side front, passenger side rear. Okay, this is all working. Sunroof, motor works. It's off track, so it doesn't want to slide back, so I'm going to point that out. Um, so currently, right now, the sunroof is not working. Um, let's do left directional, right directional uh, mirrors. If I'm not mistaken, they only work when you're tilting down, right here. Same thing with the other side, so you can see the mirror moving up, but that's the only position. So it's definitely this switch, something with the contact in the switches. So we're going to look into that because they're both doing the same thing. It has to be the switch. AC is blowing cold. Um, horn works. Everything is working on here. Uh, let's rev it up and see what this engine sounds like. Took that to about 4,000 RPMs. Engine sounds very, very good, very clear. Let's get under the engine compartment, under the hood. And let's see what this sounds like and looks like. Up close. All right, here's your engine compartment. So again, this is, this is a Vortec high output 6.0 engine and engine compartment sound and look great. No funky noises, no belt squealing, no valve taps. It's just a very, very nice truck. Once again, we got a 2002. Uh, Cadillac Escalade. Give us a call 201-440-1323 if you want to view specific pics of this vehicle and this video You can view them right there. That's our sign www.carconnectiononline.com When you get to our site 
Once you find the vehicle you're looking for, click the pick or bring it to a specific page, which will have four tabs. One for photos, which is unlimited photos that you see on our site versus on some of the car sites like the car gurus in the marketplace because they, they restrict us on pictures where our site has a lot more pictures. You'll have a tab for video, which is uh, videos like this that we provide on all our vehicles. You also have a tab for auto check, which is a free VIN check on all the vehicles that we provide. Stop wasting your money on Carfax. Okay, come to us. You're looking at this car, we'll give you a free VIN check. And the last tab will be apply for loan. So you can apply online for a loan, any one of our vehicles and our motorcycles. If you have any questions regarding our finance options, call us at 201-440-1323. And last but not least, we offer warranties on all our vehicles, including our motorcycles. Everyone stay safe and thanks for viewing this video.